portion of our show brought to you by the Pharmaceutical, the Pharmaceutical Institute, member of the Federated Organization of Associations. You now, people often ask me, how do you manage to do all the things that you do? And the answer is very simple, powerful pharmaceuticals. Yes. That's my secret. All right, here's your pills, Mr. Weiler. Thank you. Remember, no operating heavy machinery no. and no jumping off the roof no, and I'm, flapping your arms. No, that okay? was a mistake. I'm right. sorry. You may feel like you can fly, right. but you can't. Right. Okay. okay. Right. I got it. Okay. I do this show on Saturday, and then on Sunday I play 18 holes of golf, and I lift weights, and uh, I take my Lamborghini out for a few laps around the course. Then I take the late flight to L.A., so that I can be in the studio by 6 in the morning and shoot my latest picture. Oh, there he is. There he is. Morning, hey. Mr. Wyler. Morning there, Walter. Yes. So, uh, we're all ready to shoot. I'm, uh, I'm all ready for the underwater scene here. I see that. Yeah. Yes. You've been working out. Well. Uh, look at that. Your abs are like cast iron. Yes. There. Well, yeah. my, my fans expect me to be uh, physically beautiful. Uh, well, Walter, I, uh, so. I've got to say, I've never seen a man in such a tiny thong swimsuit. Well, it's... Uh, <laughs> It's a gift from a fan, Walter. It was uh, woven from the cotton in an aspirin bottle. So right. it's, uh... Uh, well, anyway, we yes. rewrote that scene. It's oh? uh, not underwater now. No, no, no. Uh, visibility no? underwater, very poor, you know. Oh. People wouldn't be able to see you. That's... Uh, All I'm right, doing. sure. Yeah, so okay. instead of you on the ocean floor fighting off a giant stingray and right. defending a young woman whose foot is pinned under a rock, right. you'll be on a combine in North Dakota. What? It tips over, and you crawl out from under the burning wreckage, and you see the oil seeping up from the ground, and you realize that your family is suddenly wealthy and won't lose the farm after all, and your mom can get the operation she needs, huh? and Melissa will be able to take tap lessons. Oh, and- I, oh. So, so what am I wearing in this scene? Well, I, I don't know. Bib overalls. What? A feed cap. Work boots, of course. I thought I was going to be in a swimsuit. Yeah, we uh, huh? decided to go in a different direction, as I was saying. Uh, I mean, in the, in the script that I saw, I, I kill the stingray, I free the young woman, I bring her up on the beach, I give her mouth-to-mouth resuscitation right. as the sun sets, and we get married and we go to live in a grass hut. Uh-huh. I mean, well, uh, it just didn't no? seem plausible to us. Uh, sorry, Wyler. No, we're, we're making you a soybean farmer whose daughter has dreams of making it on my, Broadway. My, my who? Your daughter. I have a daughter in the movie? Yeah, uh, Melissa. Walter, I've never played a father before. Well. I've always played a, a bare-chested hunk with a faint grin on his lips as he faces the, the hail of deadly laser rays. Yes, I mean, yes, yes. I've always well, been a romantic lead. Uh, may I remind you, your last picture tanked and the studio lost $57 million. Uh, on Moby Dick, mm-hmm. really? Yeah. It was a great picture. Did you read the reviews? I don't read reviews. Well, I mean, the picture was a little edgy for some people. So what? I mean, well. the idea of Ishmael being played by an attractive woman, and uh, <laughs> and me killing the whale with a Swiss Army knife, and uh, looking at her and saying, "Call me, Ishmael," and <laughs> and she did. She. Right. Called me when she was cornered by a shark, and I killed the shark, and I lay her on the beach, and I gave her mouth-to-mouth resuscitation. Okay, that's, that's all good. Anyway, this picture is set on a farm in North Dakota. Oh. And, uh, oh, here she is. I want you to meet Melissa here. Melissa, c- c- come here, here. Melissa, meet Mr. Weiler. Hi. Walter, listen. Now, look, Walter. she's your daughter, and she has a dream of making it big Walter. on Broadway. Walter, I don't work with kids, okay? Oh. It's, it's in my contract. No, no, she's very that. talented, Wyler. She's yeah, going to make a huge difference yeah, on this that, picture. That's what I'm afraid of, okay? Just, I mean, look at her. Red hair, freckles, I mean, big grin. Probably sings as well. Oh, huh? The she... sun will come out tomorrow. Oh, no. Bet your bottom oh, dollar. Oh, please. That away, you... sweetheart. Listen, she's, when she's on the screen, Walter, nobody's going to even see me. I'm going to be like furniture. I'm going to be like a chair out there. She's going to walk away with the picture. Well, somebody's got to. Oh. <laughs> Can't believe you're doing this to me, Walter. I'm a big fan of your work, Mr. Weiler. Oh. I was at the dinner where you got the Lifetime oh. Achievement Award. Oh, please. Oh, no. So what is she going to do in the movie? Okay, she drives off a band of marauders, and she saves the cattle in a blizzard. Oh. And a plane crash lands in the cornfield. Mm. And there's a Broadway producer on it, and he walks up to the farmhouse, and she's singing like this. Take it, kid. Ah. Let me plant a field of corn one April day in early morn. And if that corn becomes corn chowder, I'm happy, so happy. 
Let me sing a lovely hymn that makes you hear the seraphim. And if I get to sing it louder, I'm happy. Okay, I've got it, Chet. I've got it. All right, that's enough. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Boy. I don't know, Walter. This isn't what I signed up for. I mean, what, what do I got to do? Well, uh, you sit at the kitchen table and yeah. you grin and you slap your knee and you say, by gosh, I knew Melissa had talent. Oh. And when she leaves to get on the train to go to New York, you give her a hug and you say, uh, you're going out there a kid with a smile in your heart, but you're coming back a Broadway star. And that's it? That's and wrong? You, you wave goodbye with your hanky as the limousine drives her away. What? And, of course, uh, later on you listen to her on the radio and she makes her debut. Somewhere just north of Fargo, there's a place where I spent every summer back in my childhood days. Some days I'd like to go back there and see the white clouds in the air above me. At night we light the oil lamps with mom and dad and gram and gramps and they all love me. Somewhere north of Fargo there's a farm where I and hear chickens in the barn If chickens fly then why can't you and I uh, I don't know, Walter well, So the movie came out and of course she got the rave reviews and I was a footnote and my days of stardom were over. Okay, we'll call you if we have anything for you, Mr. Wyler. Okay, see you later, Walter. Yeah, as I say, we'll call you if we need you. Oh, sure. People ask me, how do you manage to do all the things you do? And I say pharmaceuticals. Now, this is a very powerful sedative, Mr. Wyler. Oh, good. It won't make you sleepy, but it will make you just play not care so much. Oh, that's good. So if you find yourself feeling tense and anxious, just take one of these little happy pills. Oh, these, uh, okay? these green ones. Right, yeah. right. They'll perk you right up, and you'll start singing and dancing. Well, too late for that. I, uh, oh. I'll just stick with the sedatives, okay? Sure. Thanks. A message from the Pharmaceutical Institute, a member of the Federated Organization of Associations. Megan Fisher, Sue Scott, Kim Russell.